Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to fix a vertical PTAC, charge it up and get it ready for installation. Here it comes. Well guys, I have finally received the evaporator coil for this. It had a leak right here. I'm probably the next couple of days going to get this fixed and installed right now i'm fixing to take it out and wash all this out the bottom of it Oh my word, look at this. That is disgusting. I don't think that drain is draining. drain and there's a little hole right there when that drain don't work water leaks down it can drip on this which are your capacitors and your control board is right in here now they've made some efforts to try to protect those but that ain't good and look at all this all of that came out of that drain pan oh This is my new coil and this right here tells me I need to unsolder it right here and right here. So I'm going to get to doing that real quick. I'm going to install these. These are line tap valves. I'm going to put one right here and another one right there. This one is rated for one quarter. That's the smallest size. So you put this little adapter in there and then you gotta clamp it on the line. Mm. 
Easier said than done. On there, I got that tightened down pretty good. There is a tiny little bit of slack left. I do that on purpose so that I can tighten it more in the future. With this Allen screw in the middle right there, that pushes a needle down into the tube and punctures it. And um, then you can access through here. There's no um, Schrader in there. But once you puncture it, you have to back it out and then you have access to the pressure. Right, those are the two I have on. It didn't have any Freon left in it. Thank <laughs> you. 
I couldn't find a bipolar dryer small enough for this. And I thought this was quarter inch. Must be five sixteenths. Which means I do not have a bushing for it. cut out the previous section because the radio was playing but I'm gonna try to put in a liquid line dryer even though it's not the right size some of y'all are going to criticize me for pinching that but um i picked up bushings but i thought that was quarter inch and it's five sixteenths so my bushings did absolutely no good make do with what you got i got that hook directly up small system Pulling a vacuum through that tiny little pinhole. This right here is taking almost 25 minutes on that vacuum pump. But I got the time. Final step in this is to charge it up. It takes 40 ounces. I've already pulled a vacuum and I pressurized with just a tiny little bit of refrigerant. But we are fixing to try to push about 40 ounces, maybe 38 into this. If I can't just push it, I'm going to use a recovery machine. We have machine. our scale zeroed out. I'm fixing to open up that center screw and see how much refrigerant we can get in. Now that's going through a tiny little pinhole, but... I need 35, 36 ounces at least. That's slowly climbing. Let's see how far we can get. Getting close to 36 ounces. I'm regulating this right here. I bled the lines to make sure there was refrigerant in the lines before I started. All right, we're at two pounds. Because I pressurized 
just enough to get some pressure on it so I can pull my vacuum pump off. That really may be all I need. That's 36 ounces. It has a total charge of 40 ounces. When I go install it tomorrow, I'm gonna put my little sensors on it and make sure it's right. All right, that's it for that one. I just have to take that and install it. It's basically slide it into place, plug it up and hook up the thermostat and that one's done. I'll leave a link to the video where I diagnosed it and pulled it out. That was a lengthy video all in of itself. If you like these kinds of videos, like and subscribe. It really does help out. Thanks for watching, guys.